Hello, what is up everyone? My name is Jason, my pronouns are they, them, and welcome, welcome to another video. So, you might see this camera up here. This is actually the camera setup that you're seeing down here. Hello, obviously. Um, there's not really a way that I can angle this camera uh, in a way that's going to be better than what you see here. So, unfortunately, that's what you're going to get. You're just going to be able to see this camera. But, uh, yeah. And also, it looks like the mic and the camera are really close together. They're not. They're like, I don't know, I, I, I want to say eight inches away from each other. It looks like they're like super close together on the camera though, which is kind of funny. Anyway, so hello. <laughs> what is this video? What are you doing here? Why are you showing us your mail? So uh, I don't know if you could tell by the thumbnail or the title, but these are actually going to be my CGC returns. So I, um, if you don't know, what CGC is, it's a grading company that grades uh, trading cards. They currently grade uh, Pokemon and Magic the Gathering cards, uh, but they just released, they just recently released a really long list of all of the cards that they're going to start grading now. So I don't really um, collect any other trading cards other than Pokemon. So all of these are going to be Pokemon cards. I think that CGC is probably the best choice for grading if you, especially if you're on a budget, um, and if you are, you know, if you want to get your cards back earlier, actually. Jesus, this is tough to get off. It's like coming off in strips. They also feel like they're kind of rattling around in this box a little bit. I'm like, it would be great if y'all protected my cards like I protected my cards. You know, I mean... Part of the reason why I get them graded is so they're encapsulated forever. Um, but yeah, so I sent in five. And as you're going to see pretty quickly, two of them are, or four of them are the exact same, actually. Um, I bought four of my favorite card ever um, that's ever been released in the Pokemon TCG. Um, and you'll see why in a second if you've never seen this card before. But um, yeah, so I sent those in. And yeah, I'm very excited. Um, but I expected to get these back in like maybe a, three months, you know, because it's economy and that's about right for uh, economy submissions. But turns out I got them back in two weeks. Like it was so quick, the turnaround time. It was amazing. So I finally got this open. And uh, so, <laughs> yeah, let me, once you open it, then, if you want to see how they come in, there they are. They're just there. <laughs> so the box is completely destroyed, and the cards are not very secure in here, unfortunately. So that's a little weird. Um, that's kind of too bad. But yeah, so let me let me arrange them a little bit. Oh, jeez, and this this stuff is popping off too. <sighs> the heck. Wow, that's really disappointing, actually, because that's not securely in there whatsoever. Um, so that's really unfortunate. So I'm just going to slide these out like so. I am super excited to get them back, though, still. Even for the packaging problems, I'm still very excited. I actually do know what two of the cards grades are going to be, but for the other three, so I, I think I know the first two, um, and then, but then for the other three, um, I do not know. And, uh, yeah. So, let's get it started. Alright, so here we have a, an English card. I was going to say new back or old back, but it's the same back that they've always had, which is very boring. <laughs> so it looks pretty good from the back, huh? So let's go go and uh, see what it is. Oh my god! And I I mean I did know what this was gonna be, but like, oh my god, seeing it in person and seeing it on camera, it just looks amazing. It looks absolutely. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. I remember pulling this. This is the first Mew from Celebrations that I pulled, and I was like, it is just outstanding just absolutely radiant <laughs> so it's beautiful but yeah oh my gosh 
Oh, it's so beautiful. And so it got a, and I didn't actually see what the subgrades were. Dang it. It didn't get the, it didn't get the nine five on centering. It almost got a full nine five. That's unfortunate. That's okay. So it got a nine on centering and nine on surface nine or nine centering nine five surface nine five corners and nine five edges. Wow. That's a very, I mean, that's a very strong nine five. All things considering even considering like the centering grade, that's not bad. That's really, really not bad. Look at it just radiating in the light. Oh, wow. That's how it is. And so I am planning on selling the majority of these uh, just because I got to make some money. Um, and I do have an eBay store. If you're interested, uh, let me know. It's actually invisible.nb uh, on eBay. So that's that's my store. Um, but yeah, that's, oh my gosh, you can see the texture of the card. Oh, that's so beautiful. And it's really funny, actually, because since, uh, since sending this in, actually, uh, I have pulled another Mew. And I'm probably going to get that one graded, too, actually. And I do want to keep one of them. So I might just send the other one in, uh, along with a small, another small submission. And then I'll see which one I'm going to keep, so... I mean, hopefully I get my cards back in the same amount of time as I did this time because it was so fast. It was like two, it literally like two weeks, which is amazing. Yeah. So here we have a Japanese old back. Some of you may recognize. Um, all right. So I'm going to put these over here oh, above that stain that I have on my mat, which is not the best looking. Oh, my gosh. It looks great in the camera. I can't believe how good this lighting is. This is just natural lighting. And I'm very impressed with the sun today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me just wipe this off a little bit. Oh my gosh. Like, the slabs look so clear. And I love Japanese old back. I like Japanese new back a little bit better. But yeah, I don't know. It's just really nice. It's just really, really fun. Y'all ready? I think I know what this one is too, but I'm I'm interested to see the subgrades because as you can see, the centering is not great on this side. Um, it's much thicker over on this side than it is on this one. So yeah. All right. What? Oh my gosh. All right. So the surface really docked it. Okay. Interesting. I knew that it was going to be the 7.5, but... Wow, so it got 8.5 centering, 6.5 surface, 8.5 on corners, and 8 on edges. And look at how beautiful that card is. This is my favorite card that's ever been in the Pokemon TCG. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at look how beautiful that is. I knew that there were a couple of like surface scratches. Also, the rest of the cards are going to be this one. Um, just spoilers. <laughs> I didn't want to get anybody's hopes up to like see different kinds of cards, but the surface on this card is like all hollow. Like every single bit of it is hollow. That card is so beautiful. So let's move on to the next one. Let me put my box cutter over here. Nowhere near these slabs. <laughs> And I like these slabs, too, because they've got some weight to them, too. I've heard that PSA slabs are a little bit lighter. Um, like I said, this is my first submission to CGC. It's my sur first submission of cards, like graded cards to anywhere. So I'm very excited. I'm, like, especially excited about this one. All right. Let's see what it is. Like I said, it's going to be the same Mew, the same Shining Mew. But yeah, let's see what it gets. Whoa, we got the off-center grade. What? Is it because of the back? Maybe it's because of the back. So see here, it has this line that goes all the way up. It's like super twisted. I don't know if you can super tell, but like the centering on the bottom here is different from the centering up top. And like the centering, you can really see it on the top here. The centering from here is super different from the centering over here like from the left side to the right side, like it's twisted. It got twisted in the machine somehow. And like, you can super tell, but I didn't know it was that much to get the off centering grade. So as you can see, it says OC on the set, O dash C, O slash C on the centering. That just means off center. That is wild. 
So should I have sent this in as an error card? Like, is it technically an error card? <laughs> Let me know, y'all. Wow. I mean, I, would people pay more for this if it's off center? <laughs> that would be really cool, actually. Even if it wasn't off center, I mean, the surface got a 6.5, which is about par for the course, I guess, on these on these cards. And then the corners got a 7.5 and the edges got an 8. So it's not nearly as strong of subgrades as the other one got. Because, um, I mean, this one got mostly 8s other than the 165. So that's kind of funny. Wow. All right. I, w I wasn't expecting that. I should have been, but I wasn't. I mean, it's, you know, I'm, b I'm brand new to grading cards myself. Um, so like, you know, that pre-grading process that you have to go through yourself and like figuring out what grades that you think your cards are going to get. Like I didn't do any of that. So, but yeah, that's wild. I don't know. That's really funny to me. All right. So next one, it's going to be the same shining Mew, obviously. Let's see what we got. Another seven, five. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. This was the exact same as the other one. Centering 8-5, surface 6-5, corners 8-5, and edges 8. Is that this? That's the same one. That's the exact same grade. What the heck? What the heck? So near mint plus, 7-5s. What? You like never see that. <laughs> wow. What the heck? That's wild. You never see that, especially like in the same submission too. I mean, I know that they're the same cards, but I bought them from different sellers. Like who knows where they were from. And they both got the exact same grade, like exactly the same. That's wild. I'm going to put this one on top of this one because it's the same. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, this is the last one and let's take a look. Let's see what it got. Another 7.5. This one also got the off center. Oh my god, the corners got 9.5. <gasps> Whoa. Both of them are off center? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the centering. Yeah, okay. Wow. Oh my god, the Yeah, the corners on this one, or the centering on this one is even worse than this than uh this one down here. That is so fu funny that they all, every single one of the Shining Mew got seven fives, but two of them got the off center qualifying grade. And that's so wild. Two of them got the off center and two of them got the exact same grade. Oh my God. Wow. I was not expecting any of that. That's so funny. Wow. So this one right here got slightly better subgrades. Yeah, so this one right here, it got the off center, the surface 6.5, corners 9.5, and edges 8.5. And then this one got the off center for centering, surface 6.5, corners 7.5, and then edges 8. Okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this one has much stronger subgrades. Which is so funny that like the overall grade just, I don't know how they do it where different subgrades weigh heavier on other things, but like they got the exact same grade, but this is a much stronger grade overall because of the subgrades, which is why it's super interesting. Like when you get to see the subgrades, I really, I know that it's a lot more money to get uh, cards graded with subgrades, but it's really fascinating to see like all the subgrades, you know what I mean? I just like the breakdown of everything. And it also looks really good in the case um, or it looks good in the slab and it looks good on the label and everything. Um, and I really do like the new CGC uh, labels. Oh my gosh. That is so wild to me. I don't know why it's just like two of them. So these two got the off center qualifier these two are the exact same subgrades, same grade, same subgrade, same everything, same everything. So, I mean, would people want the off centering more? I hope so. <laughs> so I think one of these are, is the one that I'm going to keep, obviously, because that's the best.
but that is so wild. Oh my gosh. I was hoping that one of them would maybe like go over into the eight, but I'm fine with seven five. I mean, near mint plus is not bad, especially for cards this old where the surface is obviously a little bit questionable <laughs> where it's hollow all over. It's like, it's difficult to grade those in a nine or a 10, especially a 10 for CGC, but, but yeah, so that's, that's all of them. I'm just going to put these on top. There we go. So we got the nine five in the celebrations Mew. And then seven fives for every single one of the, uh, <laughs> of the Shining Mew from Koro Koro. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so wild to me. Alright, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I will see you all at some point. I'm really not making a lot of videos right now. I'm really not streaming very much. But I appreciate you all being very patient with me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.